What's up guys, CypherPole808 back again, and man, we gotta catch up on some One Piece action on my channel. So first up, we got the announcement for the One Piece film, uh, Red, coming out. Uh, so checking out, we, you know, got the trailer for it. We also got, you know, some cover art for it. So uh, a couple questions raised my mind. You know, obviously, it looks like it's alluding to Shanks, you know, with the three claw marks. But uh, who is this female character on the cover, you know? It says, uh, will her voice bring forth eternal happiness or endless imprisonment? And then it says, uh, an almighty voice with fiery red locks. So I'm kind of curious, you know, is this uh, Shank's sister? Or are we going to get, you know, maybe Luffy's mom? You know, something crazy. Like, what's going on with this? Is this going to have to do with, um, you know, Imu-sama? Maybe some Lunarians? You know, some crazy stuff. Or, you know, who knows what's going to be going on. But definitely pumped for that. Uh, I'm a big fan of all the films when they come out. Um, so, yeah, definitely be looking forward to that. That's coming out, I believe, uh, August 6, 2022. So uh, definitely be looking forward to some trailers coming out along the way and uh, keep updated on that. Now, moving on, we got the uh, announcement for Netflix's uh, live, a uh, live action adaptation for One Piece. So uh, when I heard they were doing a live action, I was kind of skeptical. You know, I've seen some of the... Netflix live action, uh, live action adaptations, and I gotta say, I'm not the biggest fan of them. But you know, um, for the simple fact that Oda is uh, helping out and he's you know weighing in on everything going on with this live action, I have confidence that um, you know he's not gonna let Netflix butcher his baby. He's not gonna let them you know kill it. So I got some serious high hopes. You know, uh, I've seen some of the actors that they announced um, in different uh, mediums. So. What I have seen of them, you know, I haven't seen all of them in, you know, other films or anything, but the few that I have seen, uh, I enjoy them in their films, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, now, coming up after that live uh, action, we have the One Piece 1000th episode, and, you know, the 1000th chapter when it came out, it was super hyped. That's what I started my channel with. That was my first review. Now, to see the 1000th uh, anime episode come out for it, you know, it was kind of everything that I thought it would be and, you know, a little bit more, you know, starting right off the bat, you know, coming out, they had that intro, you know, introducing like they did in the very first episode, you know, the history with Gold Roger and him being led up to the execution. And, you know, as soon as it started playing and the music started building up, like it instantly took me back to that first time I remember watching One Piece. I remember exactly where it was, you know, it was a few years ago, I was sitting on my couch and my boy, you know, told me about it and I started to watch it and from that very first episode, you know, I was just, I was hooked. So to see that intro kind of brought back, but with a little flair put into it, a little twist, you know, we got the updated crew, uh, you know, we got their power-ups, kind of their new looks. Uh, I was really happy to see Jinbei included in there, you know, I know he's kind of been incru uh, included in the crew for a while now as far as, you know, Wano going, but... You know, we waited so long for him to actually join the crew. It's, you know, awesome to see that he's being included in all these major, you know, celebrations. And, you know, now just moving on. That was just the intro, you know. Now moving on to the actual uh, episode itself. We had, you know, all the Sue Long action going on. We had uh, Nekomamushi and Inu Arashi, you know, seeing them go Sue Long. Like, you just see the moon up in the sky. You're like, oh, it's payback, Jack. Like, let's see. It's coming. And then, you know, they cut away from that. But, um, you know, and then we see, we go over to Luffy and Zoro, you know, trying to make it up to the rooftop. Like, Luffy's like, all right, yep, I'm heading up there. Zoro jumps on to him. And as they're rocketing up, you're like, okay, they're going to make it, they're going to make it. All of a sudden, Queen just like, nope, just bites him and just is like whips him around and spits him back out. And they're just, you know, falling on top of the numbers, you know, the big giants that are down there. And, um, you know, it was just really funny to see uh, Queen kind of just snatch them out of there. But, uh, you know, after that, we see them kind of fall down and then we start to see the crew start to assemble and, you know, we started to get, you know, a lot of flashbacks and I really enjoyed what they kind of did with it. You know, um, they showed some highlights from each of the crew members, you know, some of their pivotal moments, their strengths. We were kind of able to see, you know, their growth from when they first joined the crew to kind of where they are now. And, you know, they got their bounties. We also saw Jinbei kind of included in there and, you know, the kind of way they wielded in those flashbacks, I really enjoyed it. So to see kind of all how the crew has grown and kind of come together and the things that they were kind of, you know, able to go through, like, 
feeling like growing with the crew as you read this story. You know, you really do feel part of it. So it was just excellent to see that, you know, in an animated form and that homage to everything that these characters have been through and that we've been there, you know, right along there reading with them, you know, in the trenches with them. So it was just awesome to see that. And again, you know, the way it kind of ends with Luffy being like, yo, I'm going to go whoop Kaido. And then he kind of just has this little smirk on his face. You're just like, oh, yes. And then to, you know, end it off, they, you know, they put a little thanks to all the audience and, you know, all the fans around the world that have been, you know, supporting this journey. And, you know, some of them, you know, could have just joined yesterday or guys that have been here from the very beginning. You know, I only joined a few years ago, you know, to the One Piece family, but there's guys that have been there literally from day one. And this was a thanks to all of those people. You know, it doesn't matter where you were, what time you joined, you know, kind of this this community, this was, you know, a major fan service. So I got to say thank you to Oda. Thank you to all the animators. That was, you know, a 12 out of 10 episode. Like I, I can't, you know, a million out of 10. That was an excellent episode. Even with the action, just, you know, the Sulong, long, everything. I, I think they just did a bang up job. You know, I'm sure people have some critiques. I'm sure you could probably spot some mistakes in it, but overall, for what it was supposed to be, I think they, you know, like I said, I think they knocked it out the park. So uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, I highly suggest you go check out that 1000th episode. Um, you know, if you're a true fan of One Piece, as soon as it starts, you're going to you're going to feel it right here. You know, when it starts going through all the flashbacks, you're going to see your favorite straw hat. And you're going to see, you know, guarantee you're probably going to see one of their favorite moments with them. And it's just going to it's going to bring you back to why you love One Piece. So um with that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited to see, you know, the live action uh, adaptation as well as the upcoming movie, uh, Film Red. Uh, for all you Shanks fans out there, maybe we'll finally get to see him, you know, really get into a battle. But um, other than that, have a wonderful day.